Hey everyone, it's Gadget Guru HD back again with another video. And in this one, I'm going to show you all how you guys can set up your PS3 controller with your Asus Google Nexus 7 2013 edition and play games on it. So the first thing that you're going to need to use this setup is a USB OTG cable or on-the-go cable, which you probably don't have at home. So I'm going to be giving you guys a link in the description. And then also one of these basic cables, which pretty much everyone has. And then you'll also need your Sony PS3 controller. And lastly, of course, the Asus Google Nexus 7 or pretty much any other tablet. So the first step is simply putting on the on-the-go cable into your Asus Google Nexus 7. Next, we'll plug in our USB port into the OTG cable. And then we'll go ahead and plug that right into the PS3 controller. So as you can see here, installation, very simple. It's a pretty basic process, but I really do think this video will help you guys out. So as you can see here, I didn't even need to use 6-axis or anything like that. I can actually control my Nexus 7 with my PS3 controller. Now some issues with 6-axis in general is, well, if you don't know what 6-axis is, it's pretty much just the same process, but using the PS3 controller wirelessly. So the benefit to this is there isn't any lag whatsoever. But just so you guys know that there is going to be a little bit of a difference between using the 6-axis and this. So the first one is that you're not going to be able to map the buttons. So many games these days pretty much come with buttons mapped out for you if you do plug in your PS3 controller wired. So that's pretty awesome. But sometimes the controls are messed up. In games like Dead Trigger you can actually change them. But in... Modern Combat 4 you actually can't, so you're stuck with the default controls which is L1 as aim down sight, R1 as fire, X as reload, O as switch to your previous gun, start as your pretty much menu, and then select as settings. Pressing triangle, I don't actually have a bomb here but that will actually throw a frag. So if you're not really interested in rooting your device with 6-axis, this is pretty much an awesome alternative to it because it gives you a pretty much a better experience, but you will have to use the default mappings if the game developer doesn't allow you to change them in the game. So hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also let me know down below if you guys would like to see more content with 6-axis and other ways to use PS3 controllers on your Nexus 7. Anyway guys, I am Gadget Guru HD, and I will catch all of you in my next video.